here's the deal. The names of the officers who are facing potential discipline not being released to the public, but in court today, federal prosecutors told a judge they have to find out who those officers are to try and figure out if any capital riot cases are now tainted. In the wake of January 6th, questions raised, particularly by attorneys representing Capitol Riot defendants, about the role some U.S. Capitol Police played in allegedly allowing people to enter the Capitol building January 6th. U.S. Capitol Police now acknowledging complaints about officers' conduct led to 38 internal investigations with six United States Capitol Police officers now facing possible discipline. Our source on this, a release shared publicly by the U.S. Capitol Police Department, which reported it was recommending three officers face discipline for conduct unbecoming, one for failure to comply with directives, one for improper remarks, and one for improper dissemination of information. The release says another case about an official who is accused of unsatisfactory performance and conduct unbecoming is still pending and that the U.S. Attorney's Office did not find sufficient evidence that any of the officers committed a crime. No details were given about the incidents that prompted the complaints or or if they were related to any of the images shared on social media, like this viral video of a U.S. Capitol Police officer seen taking a selfie with a rioter. In the statement, U.S. Capitol Police said, quote, the six sustained cases should not diminish the heroic efforts of the United States Capitol Police officers. On January 6, the bravery and courage exhibited by the vast majority of our employees was inspiring. Monday, during a hearing for Thomas Fee of New York, charged with Four criminal counts, including violent entry and disorderly conduct, federal prosecutors told the judge they needed to review video evidence against the six officers who were implicated before moving forward with Fee's case. Prosecutors saying they, quote, don't think there's anything exculpatory toward the client, but they need to see the videos. This is a game changer for many of the charges. Nabil Kibria is a D.C. defense attorney who represented two Capitol riot defendants who pled guilty to misdemeanor charges. Any any interactions those officers had with defendants would probably, you know, taint the case somewhat, you know, and DOJ would probably have to take a hard look at how they want to deal with that. Kibria told me those officers' actions would likely only impact misdemeanor charges, if at all, especially those who were arrested for simply being inside the Capitol during the riots, not the most serious felonies or assaults on police. Capitol Police Chief will make the decision on final discipline. Leslie, right. so we'll wait to hear what Chief Manager decides. Flack, thank you.